everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the New York Arena in Midtown Manhattan for tonight's main event. Ten rounds in the heavyweight division. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. His ring walk is one of those ring walks where you realize how attentive this fighter is. This is a guy who has his eye on the prize and nothing will distract him. Thomas is approaching the ring now, and this ring walk can tell you so much. Look at the focus on his face. Scheduled to go the full 10 if we get that far. Round one underway. One of the best punches in the game. And if you like to see action, you should see plenty of it tonight with that hook up top. Well, the good news is what you said, that he has a real good hook. But the bad news, his opponent knows it. And he should have something to counter it. Hits him in the mug with the right. Ghost putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. A little head hunting with the right. Crashes home with a hook. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Halfway through round number one. The combo lands upstairs. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Good block there by the Ghost. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. And now he scores well with a straight right. Unbelievable pace here tonight. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Look at this. He got banged up real. Oh, that's got to hurt. Wow, crushing blow upstairs. One, two, three. Focus. Thomas is rising back up. That takes some guts. Good right hand by the Ghost. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Final 10 seconds of round number one. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Round comes to an end. Knockdown was scored in that round. So, Teddy, you're working the corner of the guy who was just on the floor. What are you telling him? You're telling him that if he's been down before, you want to actually use that for a positive. I know that sounds crazy, but you say, Hey, you've been here before, you've overcome it. You want to remind them that he can get back. And then the most important thing, Joe, is you tell him why he got dropped. So when he goes out there, he's not just scared going into a dark place saying, gee, it's going to happen again. He knows he has control. That right hand serving him well. Hey, if you can throw them all, you may just land them all. And he does with that four punch combination. <laughs> Shot lands, it was the right. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Good work defensively. Wow, nice flush left hand. Teddy, I think he's gonna go big shot up off the deck and now in control. He scores a knockdown of his own. And he turns it around because when his opponent scored the knockdown, he got. 
got a little careless, a little lazy. One, ten, two. And somehow, some way, he's gonna continue on here. And if he's gonna stay in this fight, now he's gonna avoid his opponent like the Black Plague. A crushing two-punch combo by the Ghost. Up top with the right hand. Keep moving. Get out of there. Oh, uh, you see him with the... What a big shot. Late going here this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? One, two, three, four, five. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught, have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're gonna find out right now, he needs them right now. End of this round, just alongside just Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Now they got some work to do here, nice their man was just dropped. Yeah, just the first thing is you put some cold water, you can't use that, you clear his head, and you tell him why he was dropped. Well, Teddy, you get in a spot like this, and everybody has their eyes on the fighter who was just knocked down in the last round. What do you look for? What tells you right away that you know what his status is? Well, it's two things. The easiest one is the legs, Joe. I want to see if they're steady, if they're firm, if he's okay. But the next thing is his personality, believe it or not. It's kind of like when you go out to a bar with someone, they have a few drinks, and all of a sudden they're a different person. You know they're drunk. Well, I want to see whether or not my fight is drunk. If he starts rushing at the guy, starts acting in a way that he's never acted before, I know it's time to pull the plug. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. How about that? One, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. All landing. Good return fire that time. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round, he was waiting for his opponent, just waiting for an opportunity, and he found it to counterpunch by the Ghost. Wow! Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. in prime form. Power surge here. Knockout winner. Ladies and gentlemen, by the way of knockouts, your winner, the Ghost Thomas. Boxing writers are going to have a field day with this early knockout, Teddy. Praising one guy and Tons of criticism is going to be targeted on his opponent. Yeah, two ways you could criticize his opponent. One is that obviously his technique was not right, and that came from training camp. But the other is more directed to his corner that they didn't warm him up right. I mean, he came out cold. There was no sweat on him, and he got starched. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time.